You, uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George, come in, come in. You know, George, I've been your biggest supporter around here, and that's why I was so disappointed to hear that you've been pilfering the equipment. George would never do anything like that. No, why would I? I own it. Right. So what are you saying? Why would George steal from the Yankees? He wouldn't. Of course not. Exactly. I don't really know what the hell's going on here. Sir? Nothing. Well, I was thinking it's about time the, for George's lunch. Yes, it is. All right, let's see. What do I have today? Oh, darn it. It's ham and cheese again. And she forgot the fancy mustard. I told her I like that fancy mustard. You know, you can put that fancy mustard on the shoe and it would taste pretty good to me. Oh, she made up for it with a cupcake, though. Hey, look at this. You know, I got a new system of eating these things, George. I used to peel off the chocolate. Now I turn it upside down. I eat the cake first to save the frosting for the end. It's almost a dessert dessert. Hey, Stanzo, what, what is that you're eating over there? That looks pretty tasty. It's a calzone, sir. Calzone, huh? Yeah, let's see it. Pass that on down. Let's get a little look at that. Big Stein wants a little taste. Come on, come on. Pass it down here. That's a good boy. Okay, let's see. Hey, what's in this thing? Uh, cheese, pepperoni, uh, eggplant. Uh... Eggplant, huh? Mm, that's a hell of a thing. All right, all right. Back to business. Here you go. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent little calzone you got there, Costanza. Okay, I'm a little jealous. All right, here we go. Like I told you last week, the renovation of the press box is taking too long. All right. Well, you know, that eggplant was very good. Very good. Everybody out. I got eggplant on my mind. Costanza, go get me a couple of calzones right now. Pronto, move it out. Big Stein wants an eggplant calzone. He must have one. Everybody out. Hurry up, hurry up. Is that the calzones, Mr. Steinbrenner? Oh, beautiful. I'm starving, George. So, I thought tomorrow, uh, maybe we try a little corned beef. Corned beef? Man, I don't think so. It's a little fatty, don't you think? <laughs> How about Chinese? Chinese? No. Too many containers. Big mess. Big mess. Very sloppy. We're going to stick with the calzones from Paisanos. That's the ticket. Just thought it'd be nice, you know, a little variety. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. George, let me tell you something. When I find something I like, I stick with it. From 1973 to 1982, I ate the exact same lunch every day. Turkey, chili, and a bowl made out of bread. Bread bowl, George. You'd eat the chili, then you'd eat the bowl. Nothing more satisfying than looking down after lunch and seeing just a table. <laughs> That's right. You want me to say it again? I'll say it again. I haven't had a pimple since I was 18, and I don't care if you believe me or not. And how's this? You're fired. <laughs> okay, you're not. I'm just a little hungry. I'm sorry. It's Costanza. Where's my calzone? It's 1.15. He's late. Wait a second. I gotta call you back. Oh, that smell. I know that smell. That's it's in the building. Costanza is in the building, and he's not in this office. He's got the calzone. Costanza! I got to him! I'm telling you, Costanza! <laughs> Mrs. Costanza? Yes? My name is George Steinbrenner. I'm afraid I have some very sad news about your son. <laughs> I can't believe it. He was so young. How could this have happened? Well, he'd been logging some pretty heavy hours. First one in in the morning, last one to leave at night. That kid was a human dynamo. Are you sure you're talking about George? You are Mr. and Mrs. Costanza. What the hell did you trade Jay Buna for? <laughs> he had 30 home runs and over 100 RBIs last year. He's got a rocket for an arm. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Well, you know, it was a good prospect, no question about it. But my baseball people love Ken Phelps' bat. They kept saying, Ken Phelps, Ken Phelps. Yes, yes, come in, come in. Sam. I just got a call from the terrorist. I told him to call back here, if you have a moment. Hey, Costanza, let me ask you something. Is it February or February? Because I prefer you, Ari. And what is this rule? Let me put that on speakerphone for you, sir. Hello, uh, bomber? Yeah, this is a terrorist bomber. You know, Costanza here is busting his hump on those hats. Yeah, you know, about those hats, I think maybe I changed my mind. You don't want them? They're gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Good thinking, sir. Now, what do you want instead? What? Well, you're the terrorist. You gotta want something. Uh, I guess it would be nice if you called all the ticket holders if a game is gonna be rained out. All right, George, you can handle that. Costanza, what the hell are you doing? Well, no, we have to stand tough, sir. That's why I had to hang up the phone. When someone's unstable, you don't stir the pot, George. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run around the stadium and close all the windows. That's what I'm doing, pal. And I'll tell you something else. I am very nervous! Lord Baker, Brew Baker. Hey, hey, George, I remember that tune. George? George! Hmm, what's that ticking? Uh-oh. Oh, fire in the hole! 
I I'm sure it's not a bomb. Mm, yeah, don't be so brave, George. You mess with them and they're messing with you. All right, boys, send it in. Wait, what's that thing straight ahead? Is that anything? Is that Mothra? <laughs> okay, let's check the desk. That's where I heard the ticking. We're gonna search each one of those drawers, starting with the top one. Mm. It's just empty calories and male curiosity, eh, George A? <laughs> Looks like there's more compartments underneath. Compartments underneath? That's probably where it is. Okay, boys, let her rip! Tell you what, George, starting tomorrow, no more desks. Just a loose sight table and four legs. Wow! This is your office? Oh, hello. Sorry, George, didn't I got a girl in here? I have a single on the doorknob, like a necktie or a sock or something. Come on, help me out. Mr. Steinbrenner, I would like to thank you for taking a chance on a hen supervisor at Tyler Chicken, oh. like our oh. boy George here. Hen supervisor from Tyler Chicken? Yeah, it's very nice for her to have met you, hey. sir. Wait a minute, George. You're right with you. Look, Mr. Stamper. Moon lining for Tyler Chicken. Pretty impressive, George. Days with the New York Yankees and nights in Arkansas with a top flight bird outfit. And a hen supervisor to boot. I am alone. Alone away. Below, George. Below. You uh, wanted to see me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George, I did. Come in, come in. George, the word around the office is that you're a communist. A, a communist? I, I am a Yankee, sir, first and foremost. You know, George, it struck me today that a communist pipeline into the vast reservoir of Cuban baseball talent could be the greatest thing ever to happen to this organization. Sir? You could be invaluable to this franchise. George, there's a southpaw down there nobody's been able to get a look at. Something Rodriguez. I don't really know his name. You get yourself down to Havana right away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do my best. Good. Merry Christmas, George. And uh, bring me back some of those cigars in the cedar boxes. You know, the ones with the fancy rings? I love those fancy rings. They kind of distract you while you're smoking. The red and yellow are nice. It looks good against the brown of the cigar. The Maduro, I like the Maduro wrapper. The darker, the better. That's what I say. Of course, the Claro's good, too. That's more of a pale brown, almost like a milky coffee. I find the ring size very confusing. They have it in centimeters, which I don't really understand that well. 